this is Christy. Today's art at home activity comes from the Inspire Journal. First, Temple is going to read a selection about resilience, and then you can follow along, and I'll show you step by step how to paint this monarch butterfly. Hi, this is Temple with the Johnson County Center for the Arts. Today I'd like to read a little story that Christy shared with us in the journal. And after that, she's going to show you some corners on painting a butterfly. One day, a girl found a cocoon. She was anxious and excited to see what kind of butterfly would emerge. She waited and watched, and then one day, a small opening appeared. She couldn't take her eyes off the butterfly as it struggled to force its body through that little hole. She watched for hours. Then the butterfly stopped making progress. It appeared that it had gotten as far as it could and it couldn't go any further. The girl decided that maybe the butterfly needed her help. She took a pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining bit of the cocoon to free the butterfly. The struggle was over. But the butterfly's body was swollen and its wings were shriveled and they didn't work. The girl watched the butterfly, hoping and expecting that at any minute the wings would fill out, the body would take its shape, and the butterfly would take flight. Sadly, this transformation never happened. The butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with shriveled wings and a swollen body that could never fly. What the girl failed to realize in her kindness and eagerness to help was that the butterfly's struggle to get through the tiny opening was nature's way of forcing fluid from the body into the wings. The struggle was what the butterfly needed to transform so when it was finally free from the cocoon, it could take flight. Sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in our lives. We all go through struggles and we all need help at times. But we must make our own way, because often the struggles are part of our journey. They make us resilient. They prepare us for what awaits. Like the butterfly, our struggles prepare us to take flight. Now I hope you enjoy the time that you're going to spend with Christy and um, getting some pointers on painting your own butterfly. Thanks, Temple. To make this project easier, I've created a printable PDF pattern, and there's a link in the notes. This is an easy way to turn your pattern into a transfer paper. I'm just using a number two pencil and coloring on the back of the pattern. And when you have the entire back of your pattern covered with pencil, you can just turn it over and trace your pattern right onto the surface you plan to paint on. Just trace right over every line with your pencil. I'll be working in oils on a gessoed panel, but this is a project you could do with watercolor, acrylics, colored pencils, markers, even crayon if that's the material you have on hand at home. You want to press down hard enough that the transfer goes through. And it's that simple. Now your pattern is transferred. Value is how light or dark a color is. I've added yellow and white to this red paint to create some lighter orange values. And now when we paint the butterfly, we'll work from lightest to darkest. So looking at the reference picture, I'll start with the lightest colors I see in the butterfly's wings. 
I'm using a number two flat brush here, but any brush you have at home will do. And there's a link to a larger version of the reference picture in the notes. That way you can bring it up and see all the details. If realism is your goal, you should spend more time looking at your reference picture than at your actual painting. This area is slightly darker, and remember we're working from lightest values to darker values. Now that we have all the orange on the Monarch, I'm going to fill in some of the white dots and I'm doing this before I add the black bangs and tips on the wings because it's a lot easier to make white darker than it is to make black lighter. Now it's time to add those nice black veins to our Monarch. Here I'm using a number zero liner brush. A round brush works fine. Any thin brush. So that you can get in and create those delicate little veins. And I'm just touching the tip of the brush to the canvas. And I'm leaving space for more white for some of those details. You want to pay close attention to your reference picture because some of the veins are wider than others, some are bolder, and some start out small and get thicker in the middle and then thin again at the ends. Now that the Monarch is finished, we'll turn our attention to some of the milkweed flowers. Within the flower, I'm working from light to dark. Thank you. 
Now I'm adding some green and yellow in the background. After smoothing out the background, I'm adding a little bit of orange and some darker green. A few more adjustments and finishing touches and the painting will be finished. I hope when your Monarch drawing or painting is finished, you'll share a picture with our Art Center community, either on Facebook or here in the comments. I'll be excited to see how different they all are and how everyone's personality comes out in your work. Thanks for spending time with us today. I hope you've enjoyed this and um, will enjoy creating your own Monarch Butterfly project. And in the journal, the next step is to write your own story. And you can write something about what you're going through right now or something that's made you resilient in your life, something that you've gone through, or you can use pictures to create your own story. Thank you. Keep being kind to yourself, kind to everyone else, and have a very good time at home.